Left wing, tap to center, cutting left wing into the attack zone. Come the Cooley region chill. Brandon Ratzloff always going 120%, drops it to the end wall. Centering pass, put on net, they score! Stuffed in underneath the goaltender and the Cooley region chill. Get that puck on the rebound, beating the starting netminder Trevor Smith, who gave up six goals the last time he took on the chill, and that's how you electrify the fans in the early seconds. Couldn't ask for a better start on this one tonight, Rick. Right out of the shoot, that's the Cardinal sin. They say the first you want to get scored in the first minute of the game. Well, hey, for the home team, that's exactly what they want. And they did. Both teams full strength. Puck in the far corner of the Peoria zone. There's a shot for the circle. It goes in. Oh my goodness gracious! That was put in from the top of the right circle, clanked off the post, off the goaltender, and then tapped in at the near post, and it's 2-0. Cooley region chill, that's an even strength goal. That was a wicked wrister from the Ooh. point there. You could hear the iron, the goaltender's best friend. However, he couldn't find the puck, as Magnavite, I believe, was the one who tapped it in with the backhand. Just thank you very much. There's a race back into the Peoria defensive zone, and good hustle to get back by Zach Eddington. He'll flip it in. McLaughlin, oh, has that pass stolen. Chance here, and it goes oh. right past the goaltender and in a fluff goal. Yes, that's one of those goals. You know I'm going to admit it. We want to have that back. Um, almost like catching frogs, as I'm going to say, quite honestly. He didn't have his paddle down. We talked about the paddle for the netminder down here in our end. Well, that's what happened there. Peoria uses the end boards of the D2D pass now. In the bottom of the near circle, they send it all the way down slowly to Gunnar Snyder, who is not going to take any chance. Oh, oh, he did! No! He gave it out, and it's poked in in front. Oh, my, Gunnar, you've got to have complete control on the puck. Keep the glove down on top. That's I don't know what happened there, Rick, to be quite honest. I thought he did right in front of us there. It looked like he hit it, but Trudell, you know, he had a no nose for the net. He kept crashing the net, and you go till the whistle blows. Oh, wow. You go till the whistle blows. And that's what he did, and that's, what, that's, a, that's a goal score. He's got to have a deep breath, try yeah. to put it out of his head. Centering, stolen by Magnavite. Now he'll finish it right wing. Here's Lindauer. Lindauer takes it in slowly, looking for the one-timer. Oh, somehow Trevor Smith made a spectacular save. How did he do it? That should have been a 3-2 hockey game. He was going across ice, across, across, across the body. No, they're going to say a goal. Was it a goal? I didn't see the light go on, so... Light never went on, the chill celebrating because there was no signal originally from the official. It looks like they finally are, are going to yeah, come so to gonna, Peoria bench. They are saying no goal, no that's goal. the call, so. Wow, yeah. Well, we thought no goal, then we thought goal. Now we get the official signal from the officials, yeah. no goal. Good speed in left wing, magnified shot blocker save made there by Trevor Smith. Now Ackerby. Takes it behind the net. From the right circle, quick turn around, he scores! You talk about tricky, 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 tricky. It's a goal for Akervik and it's 3-2. 328 left. And that's good defense. We've seen some good defense by both teams in the past minute here, Kaplis and Zowin. Agree with you 100%. Sit here is a draw one by Peoria and hustle from Bauer. Who's gonna get there first, McLaughlin or Bauer? They score! Oh. Bauer with blazing speed. Beat McLaughlin, beat Snyder, and it's 3-3 with 5.04 left. That makes that play by Zowin even more bigger. That huge play could have been, that could have been a two-goal difference. Instead, it's a tie hockey game. Well, Brett Bauer probably got to be one of the fastest guys um, on this Peoria team. He was running like a Mustang. Nobody's tried anything unusual. No. It's all been pretty straightforward. Here's another veteran, Brandon Hay. Four goals on the season. He's the lefty. Slowly walks it in, and he scores up oh. over the shoulder of Gunnar Schneider. Hit crossbar and Chill bar down. Scored. That was top cheese there. That's where you had the cookie and the candy. Now the top Chill cheese. have to answer here, Sid. And if not, what we got here? Hay going to get the winner. Fourth shooter is Brandon Ratzloff. The game falls in his hands versus Trevor Smith. Here we go. Picks up the biscuit. Here comes Brandon Ratzloff, glides in gracefully, couple of head fakes, backhand save made by Trevor Smith, and the Mustangs gather around each other and celebrate a big win. They battled their way back into this hockey game. A breakaway goal 
scored by Brett Bauer, and then the shootout game winner by Brandon Hay, the second year forward. Went to Glenwood High School from Chatham, Illinois. He becomes the hero tonight, along with their goaltender, oh, yeah, for sure. Trevor Smith. If you're going to call Peoria's number one star of the game, I think Trevor Smith has to be your guy. No, no, no I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that, that uh, last shot there, big blocker save. It looked like he was going to have, but he held his ground and made four saves in the whole showdown there, shootout. And outshot, what, 49-31 total. What do you think? This is going to be a battle tomorrow night? <laughs> I think I think you're gonna have a barn burner. I mean based upon what we saw tonight.